So, hello, how are you today? We are back. We are doing day 29 today of 30, oh, 28, day 28 of 33 days. Day 28 today. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Consecration to St. Joseph's study. And if you have the book, it's on page 67. Nothing will be refused him, St. Joseph, neither by Our Lady nor by his glorious son, St. Francis de Sales. Comforting the afflicted is a work of mercy. The church has seven spiritual works of mercy and seven corporal works of mercy. The works of mercy help us to be devout followers of Jesus Christ by serving others. They help us to be like St. Joseph. The seven corporal works of mercy are feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, clothe the naked, shelter the homeless, visit the prisoners, comfort the sick, bury the dead. And the seven spiritual works of mercy are teach the ignorant, pray for the living and the dead, Correct sinners, counsel those in doubt, counsel the sorrowful, bear wrong, bear wrongs patiently, forgive wrongs willingly. The Latin title Solatium Misorarum is generally translated as comfort of the afflicted, but it also can be rendered solace of the miserable or solace of those in misery. Experiencing misery or feeling miserable is not pleasant, yet the reality is that we are all going to be miserable. We're all going to have miserable moments in our life. This world is a valley of tears and everyone is going to suffer. There is no way around it, whether it's financial problems, marital hardships, psychological struggles, difficulties in relationships, the death of loved ones, or a thousand other woes. We will all experience misery in life. It's good to have someone we can turn to for comfort and solace in such times. St. Joseph will comfort you in difficult times. Life is filled with many sorrows. Loved ones will die. Children sometimes rebel. And gravity will eventually take away your youthfulness, <laughs> making you old and immobile. Yep. No matter what life brings, however, St. Joseph will always be your consolation, comfort, and solace. He knows well the hardships of life. He is a kind and loving father. He, com he comforts everyone who comes to him in times of affliction. His fatherhood is unlike any other. Let us commend ourselves to our good father, St. Joseph, who is the patriarch of troubled people, since he himself went through so much trouble. St. Joseph Morella. A loving father provides comfort to his children, especially when they are going through difficulties. A father's wisdom and presence and reassurance and life giving, knowing you can always go to your father in difficult times, reassures you that everything will be okay. Even when your world seems to be falling apart, Art. Regrettably, many people have never experienced this kind of love from a father. Many people today have grown up with emotionally abusive, distanced, and less than virtuous fathers. This has led many people to experience great anxiety and fear in life, as well as a tremendous sense of insecurity. God wants you to rest in St. Joseph's fatherhood. St. Joseph will never abandon you. No matter what your experience 
of fatherhood has been, St. Joseph will always be there for you. He is your spiritual dad and he loves you. He will never hurt you. He would, he would give his life for you a million times over. When life has you down, run to your spiritual father. Pour out your heart to him. Tell him your troubles. He is the most loving of fathers. He is always available for you, always attentive, always understanding. If discouragement overwhelms you, think of the faith of Joseph. If anxiety has its grip on you, think of the hope of Joseph. If expiration or hatred seizes you, think of the love of Joseph, who was the first man to set eyes on the human face of God. Who was the first man to set eyes on the human face of God in the person of the infant conceived by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mary? Let us praise and thank Christ for having drawn so close to us and for giving us Joseph as an example and model of love. Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. Now we're going to go read Pious Union of Saint Joseph. It's on page 215 if you have the book. And what is the wonder? Let me see what the wonder is before we start. The wonder is not usually this long. I should have checked this first, shouldn't I? It usually is only up one page. Okay, so it's Wonder Nine, and what's the name of it? Patron of a Happy Death. Okay, Patron of a Happy Death. St. Joseph is the patron and protector of a happy death. Those who pray to him are certain to die in good disposition. He is the model of those who wish to die in the Lord. And okay. now we're going to Pious Union of St. Joseph. Will he, the great saint, whom Jesus and Mary obeyed, who provided Jesus and Mary with their daily bread, be invoked in vain? No. St. Luigi Guanella. St. Joseph is never invoked in vain. Jesus had total confidence in the comforting love of his virginal father. Jesus wants us to experience the wonders of living in union with St. Joseph as well. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asks for a loaf of bread or a smoke when he asks for a fish? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Matthew 7, 9 through 11. In the scripture passage above, Jesus is teaching us about the love of his heavenly father. Yet it, this teaching of Jesus also applies to our spiritual father, St. Joseph. He is an icon of the heavenly father. In St. Joseph's steadfast love, we can have total confidence. The life and work of St. Luigi Guanella offer us an example of having total confidence in Jesus, in St. Joseph. Born and raised in Italy, St. Luigi spent his entire priesthood doing corporal and spiritual works of mercy for others. He looked after orphans, cared for those with mental and physical disabilities, helped abandoned, el helped abandoned elderly people, clothed the homeless, and fed the poor. Zealous to help everyone in need, he founded two religious congregations to continue performing the works of mercy, the servants of charity and the daughters of Mary. Devotions to St. Joseph was at the heart of St. Luigi's life and mission. He made certain that both of the religious communities he founded strove to be in constant union with St. Joseph, seeing him in a model and patron for all their charitable works. In the many homes St. Luigi established to meet the needs of others, 
he emphasized that devotion to St. Joseph needed to flourish, especially devotion to St. Joseph as the patron of the dying, because he believed that the works of mercy were fruitless if they did not help people acquire a relationship with the Lord and experience a holy and happy death like that of St. Joseph. St. Luigi's devotion to St. Joseph was so well known that St. Pope Pius X invited him to build a church near the Vatican in honor of St. Joseph. St. Luigi was delighted by the invitation of the Pope and began construction immediately. Not surprisingly, St. Luigi dedicated the new church to honoring St. Joseph's holy and happy death. The church took four years to complete and was consecrated on March 19, 1912. The church St. Luigi built in honor of St. Joseph is located in the Triafal region of Rome. It is known as St. Giuseppe Al Triafel, Trionfel, I don't know. St. Pope Pius X had also encouraged St. Luigi to imitate an apostate that would offer daily prayers for the suffering and dying. In 1913, St. Luigi launched an international association of intercessors for the suffering and the dying. He named the association the Pious Union of St. Joseph and St. Pope Pius X became the first official member. The headquarters of the Pious Union of St. Joseph is located right next to the church of San, San Giuseppe Al Triafale. International branches of the Pious Union of St. Joseph are located throughout the world. In the United States, the Pious Union of St. Joseph is headquartered in Grass Lake, Michigan. My dear St. Joseph, be with me living be with me dying, obtain for me a favorable judgment from Jesus, my merciful servant, Pope Leo XIII. St. Joseph, my dear father, gaze upon me from heaven, detach me from the things of earth, obtain for me purity of heart, love of God, and final perseverance. Blessed Barto, Bartolo Longo. So now we're going to go to the Litany of St. Joseph, page 233 in the book. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Noble offspring of David. Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. That spouse of the mother of God. Pray for us. Chase guardian of the virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the son of God. Pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph Most Prudent, pray for us. Joseph Most Courageous, pray for us. Joseph Most Obedient, pray for us. Joseph Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Patience, pray for us. Lover of Poverty, Pray for us. Model of workmen. Pray for us. Glory of domestic life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. 
Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, this is really good because... I I did get a few things, but I don't have a lot to say. Isn't that great? Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's like, yeah. <laughs> that I tells have a tea what party I got to get to later. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a tea party, is it? Did you say? Yeah. It's oh, a how tea cute party. is that? I'm going to oh. go get uh, finger sandwiches with Sue and pastries oh. to bring. Oh, how cute. Argentine pastries, guys. Ooh, it's Argentine. <laughs> I have to correct her about her own language. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I say <laughs> her own country. Anyway, um, comfort of the afflicted um, and the seven corporal works of mercy. I need to do more of them um, myself. I'm sure we all do. I do um, most of the seven spiritual works of mercy, except I need to learn to do them more gently because I'm a little bang on the head kind of gal <laughs> and I'm really most of the time I'm kidding but people sometimes take it the wrong way anyway um I'm glad that you were here to pronounce this uh say it again real quick solatium lasotium miserorum okay lasotium miserorum um and you know you get something whenever you this you get something when you give comfort to others it 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 releases that oxytocin too and um this life is a valley of tears i my life is certainly the the the, the display of that it is um it is yeah, yeah. but um we we as we get comfortable with our problems and learn how to navigate them, we recognize, look, sometimes you have to put them aside and focus on the positive, which Jeanette does really well. So um, so when they say St. Joseph is your comfort in difficult times, I really wish I would have had him, really wish I would have known, but I hope other people are getting this. So then when we got to the pious union of St. Joseph, um, all I could think of was my grandma and my mom dying. And I'm really glad that um, I got the chance to be there for my grandmothers with my mom because she showed me how she wanted to be treated when she died and how um, in how, uh, you know, just just being there and just play like she played certain music which we played different music when she died we played the divine mercy it's really important to play the divine mercy song it you can do it it's the chaplet and the song you could find it on youtube and it's really important to do the chaplet at the end of death and the song is the best way because it's very comforting to the person who's dying and um, even if they're on morphine, they can still hear. There's a hospice nurse named Julie something on um, YouTube. Jeanette, where are you? I'm um, here. Okay, well, well, let's be be present. Um, I'm listening. I'm listening. So, yeah. So the thing is, is that um, when someone's dying, it's important to play that divine mercy um, mm -hmm. because it will help that person. It will comfort them and they'll be able to say the divine mercy chaplet as they're dying, because um, it tells you in there when you do that, God, God helps you. It helps you to, to go over. Now, once again, we find a new church here in, um, near the Vatican that we didn't know about. I mean, there must be so many churches over there, you know, it just was mm -hmm. amazing. And then the, the pious union of St. Joseph is headquartered right here in the United States at the grass, Lake, Michigan. And it tells us, you know, to go there and it will give us the address. 
Um, so I'll just go over there since that's the last thing. So the churches and shrines of St. Joseph. Um, I think what I'll do is I will take a cut. I will cut and paste this and put it in the description because there's a bunch here. So yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to do that. So anyway, it's a really short one today because, um, we've covered a lot of this stuff, um, yeah. in, in the past. And, um, if you have a St. Joseph, a father or whatever, who was, was, uh, like they said in the beginning, the abuse or addicted, maybe he's an alcoholic or, and, he, and he's abusive or whatever, um, or whatever, in any case, forgive when you go to divine when you do the divine mercy at the end you can also that person a lot of people when they're dying are uncomfortable because they're not comfortable with their sins so you know it's important to bring the priest to do their last um confession so that they can empty their mind and tell them say we're going to do that and you can empty your mind it will help you die in peace and remember, we've all sinned and God understands and he, he, he helps us. He meets us where we are. So remember that. And, and all the suffering that we've done in life. Yes. It gets put toward our purgatory. If we yeah. have purgatory, um, yeah. we have to strive to go straight to heaven. We don't want to go to purgatory, but it's better than down there. Right. Getting yeah, that and if you wash, can live it, getting that clean shower to go into heaven, but um, it's it's important to take our suffering, and you know it's going to be there anyway. It's not like complaining is going to make a difference. It's 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 there. It's going to happen. It's going to be there. So why not give it, give it as penance, give it for the souls in purgatory, give it for your own soul. Give it, you know, say this, this Lord is yours. You know, I take it. I, I, I'll i suffer with it. And, and just you, you know, can also it. offer it up for a loved one that died yeah. very sinful yeah. and you couldn't turn around. You can offer your penances up for that person. Exactly. Exactly. So name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. 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 Also, also, I should have said in the patron of the dying, um, when if you've ever, whenever a baby is born, it's a very, very special time, something you never forget. You can make someone's death the same. Of course, it's not going to come out with the happy ending where you come home with a baby, but you'll know that you were there for them and you helped them to, to, to go over. And sometimes they may even see a loved one coming their way and they'll cry out mom, or, you know, a lot of times it's a mom that comes to them. So, um, it can be a very special time and you, you should choose your music. I think the divine mercy and song on YouTube, um, and, and, um, and, and talk about it and don't be afraid to talk about it because dying is a part of life as far as Gump says, <laughs> his mother. Yeah. Um, so that's all I just meant to say that. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. And if there's family that can't be at the bedside like you are, because we have, we're so divided these days in different States. Um, I put everything on Facebook so that my brother could see it. Um, and my uncle and all my cousins, because they all wanted to know about where my mom, like I told them she's dying and uh, she's in hospice and it won't be long. So uh, they all uh, 
because I didn't have most of their numbers because I never, I don't really talk to them. Um, so I got their, they left their numbers and I let my mom talk to each of them to say goodbye before she went under with all of the um, morphine and all that. And my grandmother, everyone was more close and everyone came up and the, my kids were young. And so we were all there and we all got a chance to say goodbye. It's an important thing to do. So you can, uh, each medication she took, I wrote on the Facebook, each change in her consciousness, I wrote on the Facebook, how she felt, how her night was, you know, that I had to put pads under because she was still like trying to get up and go. My mom was, you know, like you with the 80s, she was always get up and go. So, um, you know, um, put pads under if if yours is one of those people that's a get up and go kind of person, they'll still try to get up until they have more morphine. So um, we want to have a happy death and it's, it's good to do that. And one of it is, uh, is doing all those things. So it can be a, a healing time. So, all right. Bye. Have a good day guys. We'll see you for book club.